Good morning. I'm about to head out for my third day along the Tuscarora Trail. Uh, today uh, is going to cover most of uh, all of Section Three, and then most of Section Four. So um, I'm already inside the Tuscarora State Forest. Um, I'm going to climb up to uh, this ridge line, which is more of Blue Mountain Ridge. Um, and then uh, turn on further into the forest, going to cross Sherman's Mountain, and, uh, and then keep going over Amberson Ridge up until Fowler's Hollow Shelter. The website, the Tuscarora Trail website, currently has these two sections of the trail uh, flagged because there have been blowdowns. Um, so uh, they had a number to call. So before leaving, I called. I said, okay, can I actually make it through? <laughs> they were like, yes, it's possible. You're just going to have to um, get over some fallen trees or under them. I don't know. Um, this is the wagon wheel shelter. It uh, looks a little bit more rustic than the uh, Charlie Irvin shelter. Um, here telling us the, where I just came from, 10.8 miles going northbound, and then going to Fowler's Hollow will be 15.7 miles. I have my tent, so I'll carry enough water and be able to camp uh, at any point if I need to. Um, over here, they've got like a box to store food uh, for animals and stuff. And um, actually, on the map, this map, which um, I later realized is from 2012, it says that there's a spring near the shelter. I don't know if you can see, I'll show a close-up picture, but that little blue um, thing uh, it should be a spring, but it's clearly not here anymore because it's not in the guidebook either. So, um, it must have disintegrated. I don't know. So, anyway, I'm gonna get going. Got a lot of miles to cover today. There's a big trail intersection here. Lehman Trail, Warner Trail, the Woodburn Trail, Flat Rock Trail, and that's going towards the state park, Colonel Denning State Park. And then uh, Tuscarora Trail and Route 233 going this way. And, yep. That's 15.6 miles <laughs> to fall <yourself. laughs> Thanks for letting me know. Okay, on my coffee cliff bar here for breakfast because I didn't get enough water last night for my regular breakfast thing. Um, but there will be a place to get water in 0.4 miles, so it's all good. have been coming down the trail pretty steep and found the spring. So gonna get, gonna drink a bunch of water because I haven't drunk water this morning and carry a couple liters for the day. Um, I'm gonna see if this is any good cold because I didn't take the time to heat up water, which I didn't have this morning, but I still want my coffee. So <laughs> we'll see if it's absolutely disgusting <laughs> or if it's just okay. do this with two hands but that's okay add some more water and swish her around all right let's see if i can okay eh, not that great i'm gonna take it like a shot <laughs> Okay. Yeah, very bitter. Okay. I'm not doing this again. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Ugh. I just realized that I have gone about a half mile 
too far on this road. Ugh. And it's been uphill. So, yeah, turn around, go back down, and then where the road makes a sharp bend, it's supposed to turn to the right. Well, coming in this direction. If I were coming up, it would be to the left. Oh well, that teaches me to not pay attention to blazes. Okay, made it back to where I'm supposed to be. Okay, so these are the double blazes that were supposed to tell me to go this way. Uh, okay, I remember seeing this. The thing is that the guy's sign says, on that fence there, it says, stay on trail. So I thought that meant don't go here at all. <laughs> missed it but yeah that's definitely trailblaze here we go there are the blazes trailer home and going this way oh my goodness i found blackberries yes oh, yes mm. another one they're pretty good Okay, this is really steep going up. Um, shouldn't be too much farther. Nice view. And then ridge walking again. Damn, that's steep. Looks like this might be the overlook spot. And somebody made a bench. So, I'm gonna take a break finally get over that ridge and have a downhill section. Ooh, that's nice. And going back up again. These things over here say, warning, petroleum pipeline. Like that. Making progress. So now that within state forest boundaries, it looks like they are doing trail work. This looks pretty recent to me. Um, and yeah, a lot of, a lot of fallen trees. Um, but uh, this whole section so far has been great. <laughs> no real obstacles. The trail has gotten a little bit rocky again for a bit. This has been going on for maybe half a mile or so. And then I think it's done. And then here we go, more rocks. That's how it goes in Pennsylvania. At least in this part of the state. <laughs> we'll see how it is um, getting more central and north, what that's all like. So six more miles to go for Fowler's Hollow Shelter. It's going on 4 p.m. So um, I'll be getting in a bit late. Uh, this road right here, that's Cowpens Road. And that marks the end of section three and the beginning of section four. In about 1.7 miles, we'll be crossing a stream. So uh, I'm gonna get water there for overnight, just in case I find a spot and decide to camp before arriving at the shelter. Here's the stream, so cute. So I found this spot by the stream so beautiful that I decided to stay. <laughs> um, it's gonna be a lot of ups and downs to get to the shelter. Um, when I got here, it was already around five. Now it's a little bit later, it's past six. Um, so I walked a little bit into the woods and it looks like somebody else had the same idea. Exactly at the spot that I picked here to camp. Um, the stream is right here, and I love just the sound of the water, and it's so pretty. There are a good number of insects around, 
but we survive. So this is my adorable little campsite in the forest. I've had um, this fire going for a while. My tarp to hang out on. I've got a few holes from the um, sparks flying from the fire, but it doesn't matter. If we're calling it a night, quick debrief with the map. Okay. So, let's see. Oh, side note. One of my friends saw a picture of this map and was like, oh my god, that looks like a giraffe. Kind of does. Tuscarora State Forest. Okay. So, today started at Wagon Wheel Shelter, um, which is here, and this curvy part right here to get up on the ridge was brutal. Lots of up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and steep, 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 and then it continued up and down, kind of, and then this whole stretch was beautiful and amazing and lovely. Um, up until the end of section three, which is the road crossing, uh, Calpens Road. Um, I had originally thought to try to push on to Fowler's Hollow Shelter, but, um, it was getting late. Um, I found this beautiful spot right here, which is, uh, one and a half miles into section four. Um, I think the sun got to me today because I was feeling, t getting towards the evening, I started feeling feverish. Um, so that wasn't good. I was like, nope, just stop. Beautiful spot. Can hear the stream a little bit, which is right over there. Um, and, uh, yeah, apparently I'm not the first one to think this is an amazing spot either. But, um... I planned out a couple of options since I changed my plan tonight, um, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>